understanding the nature of misery. I had spoken on a certain aspect for a better understanding. Now I will speak on these two aspects, misery and anger, and then the meditation, how we can overcome these two problems. Understanding misery. When mind ceases, you are beyond. Mind ceases means mind stops functioning. It can stop functioning. Mind, remember I am not referring to the word mind as you know. I am referring to the mind as a mechanism, not some total of all thoughts, the memory card. I am not speaking the aspect of memory card of the mind. Instead, mind as a mechanism. Indian mystic Shankar has given four aspects of the mind, four cards. Man is the mind, the memory card, buddhi, the intellect, ego sense, and the chit, the mind. I will explain in detail another time. He says that I am neither Mano buddhi ankar chittani naham. I am neither of these four. So I am speaking in that way. When mind ceases, you are beyond it. You can go beyond the mind or below the mind. Going below the mind is madness, and going beyond the mind is enlightenment. Both looks similar, but there is a vast difference. When mind ceases, you are beyond it. Only then real meditation happens. Know this as your essence. Misery seems to be downhill and ecstasy seems to be uphill. It seems ecstasy is very difficult to attain. However, in reality, it is not so. Instead, it is quite contrary. Ecstasy is downhill, misery is uphill. Misery is uphill. Misery is difficult to attain, but you have to achieve. Misery is against nature, and the irony is that nobody wants to be miserable, yet still everyone is miserable in one way or the other. Your society, social values, education, culture, cultural and religious custodians, parents and teachers, all have done a great job. The outcome is a breed of miserable creatures. Each child is born ecstatic. Every child is born with the seed of awakening. However, in the process of growth, somewhere everything goes wrong and the result is that everyone dies miserable as man. The work of the Master is to regain your child how to make you innocent once again. Once you attain to your childhood innocence, there remains no problem. Remember at the time the child is born, various stars so they create a harmony. That harmony creates ecstasy and health throughout the life. When there is an imbalance in that harmony, misery, ill health, and things like these surface. The effort is to regain the same cosmic harmony. Once you attain to your childhood innocence, there remains no problem. This does not mean there are no moments of misery in the life of a child. Certainly there are moments of misery, yet still there is no misery. This you have to understand. Certainly a child can become miserable, he can be unhappy, intensely unhappy in a moment. There is awe and wonder in his life. However, in the moments of unhappiness, he is totally with unhappiness and there is no division. You separate the child from unhappiness, he ceases to exist. His unhappiness is not separate. He is utterly involved in his happiness. So when you become one with unhappiness, 
it is no more unhappiness. If you become one with it, it has the beauty of its own. Look at a child who is spoiled. If he is angry, when is then his entire energy becomes anger. Nothing is left behind. You have to observe this very carefully and minutely. He reserves nothing. He has moved and become anger. No one manipulates his anger. There is no mind. The child has become anger, not that you say he is angry. He has become the embodiment of anger. But he is not angry. There is a difference. But he is not angry. The anger has not penetrated into his conscious into his consciousness. Only when you can see the beauty, the flowering of anger, only then the child has become anger. But he is not angry because anger has not filtered into his consciousness. It has not spoiled his thought patterns. It has not spoiled his emotions. It has plagued nothing. The child is embodiment of anger. Only then you can see the beauty, the flowering of anger. The child never looks ugly. When you are angry, your gestures, your face, everything becomes angry, becomes ugly. Even in his anger, he looks beautiful. He looks more intense, vital and like a volcano ready to explode. Such a small child, full of tremendous energy, such an atomic being, ready to explode the entire universe. After the anger has subsided, the child will be utterly silent, relaxed. You may think it is miserable to be in such anger. However, such is not the case with the child. He has enjoyed every moment of it. When you are one with it, one with your misery, you are total with anything, then you are blissful. And when you are separate from anything, even if it is happiness, you will remain miserable. To be one with any sitting, any circumstance or situation is the way to overcome misery. If you are totally into it, look at the child, children playing on the seashore, gathering stones, calling them crystals, playing with the sand. They are totally involved in it. They have forgotten the outside thing. But when an adult is in that situation, he may be sitting down pretending to play with sand on the seashore, but look at him deeply. He is deep within, not involved in what he is doing. His, he is like a robot. The hands are playing with the sand, but his mind is working elsewhere. When you are one with it, you are total with anything, you are blissful. And when you are separate from anything, even if it is happiness, you will be miserable. And this is the key. This is the key, the essence. To be separate, you are like an island of ego. Then misery is the outcome. To be one, to be so intensely into it, to be flowing with whatever the stream of life brings, you are no more. And when you are no more, life is blissful or benediction. The choice is always yours. In the process of life, you have always chosen the wrong. It has become your habit. Then there is no choice left for you. Be alert and awake. Each moment when you are choosing to be miserable, remember it is your choice. Life is yours. You have not given remote control to the others to change the channels on your screen. You know the function of remote control. You are sitting on your couch. The TV is far away from you. You have the remote in your hand. And with the remote, you are manipulating 
the TV screen. Be alert and awake. Each moment when you are choosing to be miserable, remember you, it is your choice. Not that somebody is pressing the remote control. It is your life. Only you can blossom into a beautiful flower. Even this mindfulness will certainly help. And the alertness that this is my choice, my responsibility, will not only be helpful, instead you will feel the difference that I am miserable because it is my choice. I choose to be miserable this moment. Not that the other has made me miserable or the other has done something that I am feeling miserable. The essence is that you have to understand you are alert and awake. Each moment you are choosing to be miserable, remember it is your choice. It is your life. Only you can blossom into a beautiful flower, not anything else. Even this mindfulness will certainly help and the alertness that this is my choice, my responsibility, will not only be helpful, instead you will feel the difference. With this alertness, the quality of the mind will change. Then it will be easier for you to move forward. Once you know this is your choice, then everything becomes a game. Remember this, once you know this is your choice, everything becomes a game. Then even if you love to be miserable, be miserable. The only thing you have to remember that it is your choice. Nobody is responsible. This is your stage show. If you like this miserable way, if you want to pass the stream of your life through misery, then it is your choice. You are playing this, but play it well and totally. Never ask people how not to be miserable. This is absurd. Also never ask masters how to be happy. There are people who will fool you. First you create misery and then you ask how to uncreate it. You go on creating misery because you are unknown. Be alert. And from now on try to be happy and blissful. Everything is your choice. When there is darkness, the room has not been used for a longer period of time, bulb may have blown, and in that darkness, the spiders web, cobweb, cockroaches, and things like these get an opportunity to breathe in. Awareness, light, noor, whatever you call, is the way to overcome any situation, be it misery, be it anger, but first and the foremost thing is oh, alert, be alert and awake and remember this is your choice, nobody else is responsible for it. The moment you remember this, you will have a totally different quality.